Hey y'all, I'm Chan. And today I anticipate this being a quick and easy breezy top, a project that I would just zoom through. We'll see, I've said that before and been disappointed. <laughs> I'm going to be making the deer and doe orchidea top or the orchid top. They make all, they name all their patterns after flowers. And it also comes in a dress version, but I'm just gonna make the top today. It is a kind of cottage quarry look. I've seen this on Reformation a lot, but they have billowy sleeves, a little bit of a deep V with some buttons going down the front and then a little ruffle at the bottom. And so I'm hoping if I really like this top, I can make it in a couple colors and just wear it, but we'll see. I got this eyelet fabric from Joann's and I'm just gonna hop into it. I did make a couple mods, so let's get to that footage. So let me show you the mods that I did before I get into the actual making process. I actually didn't do that many mods for this. So this is the bodice and all I did was raise it up about two inches in the front and I just graded it down. And then for the bottom ruffle, I haven't decided how long that's gonna be, but I know I'm not gonna fold it over in half because I think that's too short. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, try it on and then decide from there and then I'll just give it a narrow hem. And then for the sleeve, this, this we did go rogue with. <laughs> this is my sleeve, which is from, I'll put the name of the pattern on the screen, but it's my favorite puffy sleeve shape because it's not actually very puffy. It's not puffy at all at the, shoulder you ease it in just a little bit and then it's more more of the puffness <laughs> is at the wrist which is what i prefer because i don't really like big puffy shoulders so that's what i did and that's kind of the only changes i made i just put the darts in and i actually don't need to make a broad back adjustment for this i did make a twall off camera and it was pretty perfect so i saw no reason to show all that so this is in looks good and then i have already interfaced everything that's actually the very first thing you're supposed to do so i used interfacing all along the neckline of both front pieces and then i also interfaced the waistband the first thing i'm going to do is add gathering stitches all along the shoulders as well as the uh, bottom of the bodice of both front pieces and then also on the bottom of the back bodice. This is not in order of the directions, but I like to do all my gathering while I'm, while my machine is set up for it. So I'm gonna gather it and then we'll put it all together. So everything is gathered. Like I said, I'm not doing this the way the instructions tell you to do it. Because <laughs> so, I like to go, I. This is how my brain works. Next, I need to gather the shoulders on each front bodice piece so that they're the same width as the back bodice piece. Uh, and you're gonna have them eventually be right sides together. Then you just sew across the seam allowance. And then I also need to gather along the bottom of all the bodices so that they're the same width as the uh, waistbands and then I'm just gonna pin everything together and sew it at once. This is really just so I don't have to keep changing my machine around multiple times <laughs> for different stitch lengths. <laughs> and it just works for me. Uh, I've already done the lining because you need to do the same thing with the lining. This sews up very quickly, by the way. I did this in less than an hour. Um, but this is what it's gonna look like when everything is together. So I'm going to start doing all my gathering and then sew everything in place. Okay, so everything is gathered and pinned. As you can see, pinned it at the shoulders and gathered, pinned it at the waistband, and then there's waistband, and then I did the back too, and then I'm just gonna sew all of this at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Yeah, I'm gonna sew all of this up and then start working on the button band. Where do we leave off? I sewed the, I sewed all of the gathered bodice pieces together and then I also 
put the waistbands on the front and the back and I searched everything. I showed you me doing that. And then I did the button loops. This is a little wonky, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but it's good enough for me. <laughs> and when I actually followed the guide, I had enough string, so I wasn't worried about that. So now I'm going to baste this to the right side uh, when you're wearing it, so the left if you're looking at it, of the front bodice piece, and then what do I do next? Then I have to sew up the side seams and then put the main fabric and the lining together. Cool. And then it wants me to sew the buttons on. I am not sewing the buttons on next. <laughs> I will be putting the sleeves in next <laughs> and then putting on the uh, bottom ruffle tier. Like I said, I'd be doing directions like whichever way I want. <laughs> that makes more sense to me. The I sewed all of the gathered bodice pieces together and then I also put the waistband on the front and the back and I searched everything. I showed you me doing that. And then I did the button loops. This is a little wonky, I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but it's good enough for me. <laughs> And when I actually followed the guide, I had enough string, so I wasn't worried about that. So now I'm going to baste this to the right side uh, when you're wearing it, so the left if you're looking at it, of the front bodice piece, and then what do I do next? Then I have to sew up the side seams and then put the main fabric and the lining together. Cool. And then it wants me to sew the buttons on. I am not sewing the buttons on next. <laughs> I will be putting the sleeves in next <laughs> and then putting on the uh, bottom ruffle tier. Like I said, I'd be doing directions like whichever way I want. <laughs> that makes more sense to me. So last night we ended on, I needed to sew the side seams and I had just sewed the uh, button thing. But I don't actually know the name of that. But the, the, the button loop thing, I had just sewed that down <laughs> to the front bodice. So I did all that. And then now I am pinning the lining to the main fabric so I can on the neckline so I can sew it all down. I just did the side seams. I've been um, making a conscious choice not to show so much of the like actual sewing and more like the, the setup and steps in between. Tell me if you like that because I feel like the sewing shots get kind of repetitive. Just my thoughts. So once I'm done pinning this, I'm going to sew all along the neckline as well as stay stitch it. And then I think I move on to the waistband. Or not the waistband, the ruffle, but I'm not totally sure. So all of this is stay stitched and I pressed it and I think it looks really good. My loops are a little wonky, but I'm okay with that. So next I'm going to move on to the ruffle. I basted the ruffle together pretty much. I just um, stitched in the seam allowance. I haven't decided how long it's going to be yet, but I'm just going to surge along the uh, seams because I'm not doing the fold over so that the seams are enclosed so these will actually be exposed So I need to do that and then I can do a gathering stitch across the top and attach it to the bodice Okay, I'm gonna ignore the waistband for a little bit. We'll come back to that. Then we're on the sleeves. So all I've done is surge up the side seam and the next I'm going to add a gathering stitch all along the top. Did I already do it? Apparently I did. <laughs> add a gathering stitch along the shoulder and then I'm going to ease this into the armhole of the sleeves. When did I do that? <laughs> Well, I'd really be prepping these pieces. Okay. <laughs> Last time we spoke, I was putting the lining into this top. I had put the ruler loops in, the linings in, and I needed to stitch the lining down to the um, main fabric, and I basted it down. 
and then I tried it on and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> I think it's I, I've said I've I've moved on from this for a couple weeks now. <laughs> so I'm coming back in to inform you where I've been. I don't like the excess ease towards the shoulder and the top. And I think I should have done Rulu loops versus the like um, loop with the trim. So a loop with loop loops with the cord. So my plan is when I have the mental capacity to fix this is to do a slash and decrease on the upper portion of the blouse and then cut Rulu loops instead which is a bit of a bummer because I was really looking forward to this. I just think it's giving like not good coastal grandma, like like bad coastal grandma. <laughs> like it's giving elderly, it's not it's not hitting the way it needs to. So I'm going so this is a fail and that's okay. Sometimes things are fails, but I still want to share it with you. And you all said you wanted to see it. So that's this did not end how I planned on it ending, <laughs> but that happens sometimes. So if you like this video, <laughs> give it a like. I am gonna do a fix my fails video because I have a couple fails I need to fix. Um, so you'll see this again. Plus I wanna wear this this summer. Um, Cause I have dreams of it with jeans, like jean shorts and like a little sandal going off to brunch or like on a date or something. And like, I'm trying to make that happen, so. <laughs> I will see you all next time. Please stay tuned. We have a lot of exciting things coming up and I, I'll see you in the next one, I guess.